Hello, this is JDM from the Easel Forums. Uh, today we're going to look at some Boolean operations. Uh, three different operations that are fairly useful and you will use quite a bit. Uh, two of them for sure. So I'm going to start with two shapes. And using my alignment tools I'm just going to align these so they're offset by one inch. Right now they by default the shapes come in at two inches. So if I use my center position, I'll put that on zero in this shape. I want to have on one inch and zero on the Y. Of copies of that one for each of the three operations. Oops. So, the three operations we're going to do we're going to do a union, a subtraction, and an intersection. Depending on if you're familiar with CAD software, these uh, terms will be familiar to you, or 3D software where you're actually doing booleans with solids or 3D shapes. Then you'll understand these. Uh, they may have a different name. Uh, sometimes it's like a, a Boolean union might be a Boolean addition, and a subtraction could be a Boolean difference. Uh, the names are just kind of change based on the software but the operation is the same so when you do a boolean you have two objects uh, we can do booleans with multiple objects but we'll just do two uh, it'll be easiest for now just kind of get the the idea of the concept behind it this these these operations are going to be very useful you use them a lot in easel so uh, a union is very simple. If you select both shapes and then uh, right click on them or in your edit menu you have an option to combine. Let me just move this menu up so I have access to that. I can simply choose combine and now the shapes become one. Uh, a couple of interesting things to note that will be useful later when we if we start to point edit is that if I look at this shape now and I edit points I can either click the edit point button over here or I can double click the object and it'll put me in edit points mode when I take my basic shape or a primitive that comes directly from the menu uh, it has these nice curves that are uh, have a minimum amount of points you have four points describing the shape once I do an operation with this, in this case the combine or a Boolean union, when I look at my points now I have a lot of points that are using to describe that, that curve. So when we start to do use the pen tool more and even go into some more organic drawing with the pen tool and easel, uh, understanding these points and, and how they work will be very useful because we use those a lot. So this first operation was a boolean union or addition and I'll just put add keep it simple the second type we're going to do is a subtraction or difference so I have two operands I let's say this is a this is B I have to choose which shape I want to be the cutting tool and this one in order to make it a cutting tool I have to set its depth to zero now something else that you may have to do in order to make this work correctly is if this shape if I right click on this shape I get another menu that allows me to set the position of the shape in the Z which would be coming towards you from the screen so for instance if this shape is laying on top of this shape this is actually making 
the first shape the B operand which would want to be the cutting tool because it's laying on top so I need to make sure my cutting tool is laying over the top I can right click on that bring it to the front and now if I do a combine either with my right click or with my edit menu it cut the second shape from the shape that was on top it cut it from the other object an intersection is a little bit different it's something I don't use as often but depending on me you might you might need it uh, if I want this eyeball shape that's in the center that is what we're gonna end up with so in order to do that in easel we're gonna do a combination of these two operations I'm gonna actually make two copies of my subtraction let me just label that real quick So I will use copies of my subtraction to get my difference. I take these two shapes, combine them. I have one object and now I need a couple of copies of this shape. Let's change those colors for now. So I want these to be perfectly lined up on this shape. This one, I need to flip it. So I want it to fill the other shape. And I can now select and use my alignment tools. So if I align them to the top edge, I bring both shapes up. I can select the first two, align them to the left. Select these two, align them to the right. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Because the alignment tool works on the furthest edge from the right, I need to make sure that that is not farther to that edge. And I'll get that aligned back to the top. Okay, so I have my three shapes in the group where I want them. Of course, I need to set my cutting tools to zero in order for them to subtract and in this case they're already aligned if I had an issue where I didn't see my object I'd have to arrange them forward to back to make sure that they were in the correct order and now I can select and combine my menus coming up off the screen because it's so far down and I end up with the intersection these will be very useful to you later on when you start to use easel more uh, when you approach a project if you have a good understanding of the way these tools work it will help you make decisions as you're designing something and, and, and even give you ideas to do something so I'll, I look at it, some of these operations as almost as if I'm making a tool and that the shape of that tool is what is going to make my cut whatever I as complex as I want to get with these objects I can build them into a shape tool combine them and later on I can use them to do an operation on another shape and easel so I just use my alignment tools to center that on that shape I'm gonna turn that to zero depth and then combine them 
and now I've cut that shape out of the other. So you can see fairly quickly with a combination of these basic shapes and the pen tool as well as the icons. The icons have a bunch of shapes that are, are default that you can use. You can also use them as tools. You can use them as uh, default shapes. Oh, I kind of scaled myself right out of there on that. Since it's Valentine's Day, we'll use the heart. So I can now use this this shape that I brought in from the icons. I can use that either to subtract shapes from, or I can use it as a tool to do operations on other objects. Now in easel it's very easy to do boolean operations and come up with complex shapes. Uh, if you have any suggestions on the videos or comments uh, send me a message on the easel forums. Again my username is JDM and thank you.